Hello my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you have any cards that resonate with you deeply, let me know in the comments below darling which ones do and how they do because that's how I keep up with you Aquarius is through the comments. Also if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe honey, uh, I almost called you Aquarius honey, I like almost combined the two. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, if you do enjoy it, let me know and give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot, Aquarius, when you do, and I always appreciate it when you do that. Also, remember though, Aquarius, to use your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, darling, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the cards are just here, Aquarius, just to give you some food for thought for today, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the choices in your life darling because it's your life to live not mine and all these tarot cards honey so with all that being said aquarius let's finally just jump into your reading since apparently i can't speak honey uh we have the bear spirit coming in for you is it the bear? brown bear spirit my bad uh number nine for numerology aquarius to so write that number down to look up at a later point and also this card says take time out aquarius so what's been going on with you honey have you guys been in this place of overthinking have you guys been doing too much right now have you guys been i'm seeing uh, uh it's a weird imagery but i'm being shown like an aquarius like standing at a buffet and they're like going to each uh thing and like picking like taking a scoop of each type of food just because it's there in different types right are you loading your plate up too much with projects aquarius is your are your eyes bigger than your belly in some way? Are you, I know you guys get into this habit of Aquarius of uh, kind of overwhelming yourself, honey. So are you just in a state of feeling overwhelmed or are you just like actually actively, you know, taking time for yourself, right? I guess I'm kind of becoming too much of a parent with y'all Aquarius. So I was instantly going to the chastising girl, honey, right? You guys could already just be actively taking things a little bit slower, which would make me happy. So let's see here. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So you guys are taking it slower, Aquarius. That does make me happy. You guys are taking things slower. And naturally, when it comes to taking with uh, taking things a little bit slower here, I feel almost as if um, through you guys having like some time of silence, you're going to have like an epiphany moment, uh, Aquarius. That's something that I'm getting the impression of. You guys are going to get an epiphany moment and ace of wands confirms that for me um so i feel like it's really important right now for you aquarius is to take some time to you know normally i always just tell people to like step away uh and try to just have some time to yourself right getting a hotel or something but i almost feel like for you aquarius it's important for you to immerse yourself in some nature connecting with um the energies around you just because i mean i know not all of you subscribe to the same things that i subscribe to aquarius but i do feel like you could get some very powerful insight um through just being around like just natural energy right so obviously not everyone aquarius lives in a wood like a foresty area or in the woods but just getting yourself immersed in nature in some way because i feel like some epiphany is going to come through you being able to have like that stillness around nature and being able to connect with the energies around there right uh, we have the Knight of Swords coming in here, and this is in the inverted for you. So, all right. So I'm going to apologize to you, Aquarius, for me chastising you guys for doing too much, because I guess it seems like you guys are taking a pretty um, easy, you're, you're being easier on yourself with this Knight of Swords here. You're not feeling like you need to move too quickly. But at the same time, I just want to give this heads up as well. When this is in the inverted Aquarius, this is still something where it's like, I don't know if you guys are taking your break, but like the entire time that you're taking that break, you're just thinking about how much work you need to get done, right? Maybe let's just say that you do go out into the woods, honey. Excuse me. <laughs> Try not to burp on camera, honey. Uh, you got into the woods, but then like while you're camping, you start thinking about, oh, I got to answer these emails when I get back home. I got to do this. I got to do that. Right. It feels almost just like Aquarius. You have to have give yourself a pep talk. Let's see here. We have the devil card coming in here. So yeah, I was right. Spirit is right. And so <laughs> look at me finding any way to get chastise my little Aquariuses. But I say it with love, Aquarius, right? You know, I'm never trying to like be 
any type of way with you guys. I always am just trying to see where I can help you guys out the most on your path, right? Um, but I am seeing this is kind of like your issue, Aquarius, where it's like, even when you guys are taking some time off, you're gonna still feel overwhelmed and like you're putting on too much on yourself because it's almost this sense of where um, you're stressing out too much and thinking about being like, oh, I gotta answer these emails, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do whatever, right? And it almost feels like for some of you Aquarius is like you have this desire of picking up new projects Projects, right but you can't move on from it almost just because you have so many other mental distractions and so many other things of like that you need to take care of so it's just it does feel like and maybe I even said this for your last week's reading Aquarius but it does feel like um you guys could uh how would we say would create a schedule for yourself schedule out time for each thing that you need to get done right if you need to get emails done schedule out an hour to do emails and just emails and focusing just on that if you need to do read this book or whatever schedule a specific time and dedicate to it and you'll be surprised by just how productive you will be aquarius i only point this out not just because of how like cliche that advice would sound but i am being shown a notepad so i feel like that is important for you guys i feel like you guys could thrive really off of some compartmentalizing and just really getting yourself getting your thoughts and getting your physical environment organized around you you know here's the thing aquarius i always like to i don't like doing scripts too much just because when it comes to my personal, I can't obviously script to this, but it's like, I never really liked doing too many scripts just because it's like, I want everything to be in the moment. I feel like writing stuff down kind of takes away the creativity rather than this in the moment expressing uh, things. But having the script, not that I'm following it, adds the structure to like, even just how I'm speaking and just like, while all my thoughts are still coming in in real time, I am able to structure my thoughts and be like, all right, I'm gonna first talk about this, you know, bullet points, right? That's what I'm trying to say. So Aquarius, that's where you're at, right? So let's see how this week uh, pans out for you. Let's see how this journey continues for... I don't know if the camera caught that, but we have cards flying out, <laughs> Aquarius. Um, let's see how this journey continues for you guys. Oh my God, you guys got so many. All right, so you have the Wolf Spirit, 67, which would equal 13, 4, 4 for numerology. The Wolf Spirit, turn your knowledge into wisdom. It's funny how you're getting all these woodland creatures. First the brown bear, and now the Wolf Spirit. Um, obviously, this is an animal deck, so this, you're going to get animals, darling. But you could be getting, like, a seahorse or something like that, or a whale. It doesn't have to, like, they're all just, like, brown animals in the woods. Turn knowledge into wisdom. You have the Dragonfly Spirit, 22. Uh, equaling to four, truth transcends illusions. And then you have the cow spirit. I love this card. Number 15, equaling to six. The miracles are endless, right? Yeah, the miracles are endless. And then you have the mouse uh, spirit, which has been coming up for a lot of zodiac signs uh, recently, Aquarius. And the mouse spirit is four for numerology, 10 to the small things. So give me a moment, Aquarius, because y'all just got so many cards. <laughs> And I'm trying to piece this puzzle together. It's kind of like when you first open a new puzzle and you dump out all the pieces. I'm trying to see how these kind of go together. Truth transcends illusion. Tr uh, turn knowledge into wisdom, intending to the small things. I feel like these three kind of go together, almost. Um, Aquarius. I feel like this is something that you guys are um almost initially that you guys were at one point in, in denial about where it's just like oh i don't need to address this oh, i don't need to do that i'll be fine right putting it on the back burner just being like almost like playing it down almost aquarius if that makes sense right we're gonna put this cow spirit to the end because i feel like that's how we close off this uh row here so let's pull some cards here i feel like there's something aquarius that you're not uh, five of cups yeah <laughs> Aquarius. Five of Cups is a card of spilled milk and not wanting to move on from that situation here. Um, this is a situation, Aquarius, where it's like, you kind of have to address it, darling. You kind of, even if it's something that internally that you have to work on with yourself, you can't just say, Velka, I know, I know, I know, I'll do that later, I'll work on it later. You kind of have to just make it a point to do it now. You're not going to feel any differently, or maybe you will, but it's not going to be any easier if you do it later, or if you do something later. I feel like you need to, if something arises in you, you need to just address it in the now, because I do feel as if, like, this is what 
is like until you adjust uh, that, I don't want to call it a block, um, but it's like until you address this part of the storyline, you can't continue on the rest of your chapter, almost. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming in, and this was in the reverse for you. So this is confirming what I was saying, right? This is quite literally the block, right? The Velcro, <laughs> the cards are just like Velcro. If you don't want to say block, then we'll provide the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, honey. Um, so this card is all about where it's just like the gears just kind of stopped. Aquarius, right? I feel like you guys need to start taking action and start addressing things in the moment rather than kind of like putting it off. And, you know, uh, maybe you're not being intentional about it, Aquarius, right? Maybe you have the, there's a fly that I cannot get out of my room, honey. Um, maybe you've had the thoughts of like doing these things, but it just slips your mind. But that's where the organization comes in that I was talking about, Aquarius. Five of Swords coming in here. Yeah, this is a situation I just feel like you're, you're going to thrive so much more temperance card yeah no more waiting um aquarius no more waiting this is the time where it's like you need to if there's anything that's coming up address it in the now especially when it comes to your own health right especially if it comes to your own mental health three of cups coming it tried to come out as well um so i don't know if something's going to be coming up uh in your life this week that you need to be addressing in terms of your social life i guess that is kind of how the storyline is panning out to be so pay attention to your social situations this week aquarius um as, as you start arising or if you start getting a sense on something you know if you get the sense of being like oh maybe i should check in and text this person do it right um because it may lead to the empress card yeah the empress card this is going to be very bad something this week definitely be as Aquarius, make it as strong of a point as possible to be as um, present of a friend as possible, present of a human to people around you, right? Because I don't want to just pin pigeonhole it to just friend connection because I don't feel like that is just the case. Because I do feel like there's some type of, through your engagement, through your interaction with checking in with people and just connecting with them, there's almost this sense of a very positive outcome coming from it. Now, obviously, this is going to look really different for all of you uh, Aquariuses. Maybe for some of you guys, some of you Aquariuses have friends that you can do some projects with. Maybe for others, um, they know some, you know, it's uh, it's endless, right? Kyle Spear, the opportunities are... Uh, the miracles are endless, the possibilities are endless with this, but it is at the end of the day, you're getting some type of miracle through interacting with them, uh, Aquarius, through being that present uh, friend and actually, again, just like really emphasizing taking action, Aquarius. If you're invited to something, go to it. All right, now Aquarius, let's get into your social situations this week. So this could be your romantic situation. This could be a platonic situation, Aquarius. Only you know. This could be about family. This could be about work. You know your situation, darling. You know if you have a dating life or not. You know if you have um, anything going on with your friends. And I do, right? You have the dog spear coming in. 19 equaling to 2. Or 1, rather. Be loyal to what you love. So definitely when it comes to your situations this week, social situations, really uh, coming in and drilling in on this message this week for you, Aquarius. Um, definitely be paying attention to your connections and see what you can offer to others. Um, this is definitely going to be a time of where I do feel as if um, there's something going to be offered to you through some type of connection, through some through one of your current and i feel like this is a current thing i don't feel like this is coming up four of wands so this is something in terms of your social connection is going to be going the long haul is really going to be very productive for your future aquarius very much so so really make it a point to you know just check in with your friends be like are we good are you know how are you doing right because something's really beautiful going to be coming from it queen of wands with this wands cards and knight of wands all these wands cards if you have any uh friends that have any fire in their chart aquarius maybe that's going to be where it is you're honing your energy in on but this is all passionate energy it's through you connecting with your social connections somehow this week that something really ignites something powerful in you that motivates you that just has you feeling probably the most alive that you ever felt queen of pentacles is a very um self-sufficient energy it's an energy feeling very well taken care of 
uh, you're going to experience some very deep healing, some something very much soul, very much so soul nurturing to you through your some type of social connection this week, Aquarius. So please, please, please take heed to those words, darling, because definitely um, is looking good for you. All right, now, Aquarius, let's take a look at your financial and career situation this week. See what's going on there, darling. Overall, such good cards, though, in terms of your social, honey. All right, you can't get better than that. Grasshopper spirit, 30 equaling to 3. Take a leap of faith, darling, right? So what was I just saying before, Aquarius, right? I was saying that you guys need to take action, right? Take a leap of faith. Take action. When it comes to your career, I don't know what it is that you guys are interested in. This is more so for my grasshoppers that are like kind of like are ready to jump to a specific situation right but the or whatever is keeping you back from hold, holding keeping you back from jumping into it rather and keeping you from taking action aquarius so when you see this card here this is really for take this as a sign my aquarius is if there's something that you've been wanting to do that you've been having your mind on that you've just been really holding back on take a spring off towards it right strength card coming in could you be feeling insecure about this situation feeling as if you wouldn't be good enough for it? you know what's going on why did that strength card come in this is ten of pentacles like that's the thing aquarius like even though this scares you so much with in terms of this idea when it comes to your career this venture that you want to go down it's going to be really profitable it's going to like this is like in terms, I mean, best card to have in terms of your career, because Ten of Pentacles, Pentacles representing money, and it's just like, I mean, hello. Um, but it's also just a very stable energy uh, for you, Aquarius. And so I make it a point to talk about that stable energy, because I feel like that's what you're craving at this point, And that's kind of what has you in this reservation on, like, quite taking that leap is because you're really wanting some stability in your life and you don't you're not sure if this new thing would just add more instability but that stability is attached to the page of wands darling right page of wands is that new start fresh start new opportunity this is literally like if you were to look up the meaning of the card aquarius of page of wands it talks about new opportunity so jump up at that jump at that new opportunity if it arises for you aquarius i really do feel like in terms of just like bringing forth more abundance in terms of financial and career matters you want to look more into new energy rather than uh focusing in on refining anything old three of wands this is a card of traveling naturally uh aquarius this is a card of traveling this is a card notice you're getting so many wands cards you're getting so much passion involved in here and i love it aquarius that's like you know i just eat it with a spoon darling i love me some passion um but yeah, I really do get this sense here, Aquarius, like some of you guys need to be really bold and some of y'all's bold taking a leap, you're all going to be leaping really far and that's what scares you. But because you have this Ten of Pentacles coming in here, Aquarius, you know it's going to work out, or at least I know it's going to work out for you. You just have to be confident to do it, right? Because you're the one that's going to be leaping naturally. I'm just the one flipping some tarot cards. I know it's a lot easier said than done, honey, All right? So Aquarius, let's close out your reading now with a positive affirmation card, because y'all know I love my clothes, honey, All right? Let's get a positive affirmation for my Aquariuses to take with them this week. And we're going to do two. Uh, I am the dreamer of my dreams. I like this card, but it's also a little bit corny, but I feel like it's a per I like this card a lot just because of what we just ended your reading with before Aquarius, right? When it comes to taking that leap, I am the dreamer of my dreams. And then when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Come on now, Aquarius. This is really all just about um, having faith in yourself and realizing that you're creating your dreams. And once you have faith in yourself and have, you know, feel confident in that you would be able to not only make that leap, right? Make that leap of faith, but actually thrive in that situation. That's when things are really going to start coming in for you. Maybe a lot of you Aquariuses are having a hard time stomaching or really being present with the idea of you guys being able to be more successful than where you're currently at right and i know this is a common thing when you can when you especially for people that go through such long rough periods right it's an, almost impossible for you to conceptualize things past a certain point of being good right and i feel like you need to get over this way of thinking that you can only get to where you can personally conceptualize because i do feel like you know it sounds weird but i do feel like you aquarius is part of the reason why you don't adopt a more powerful role in your own life and why why you don't take action all the time is just because of like 
you're so used to like a narrative being in a certain way you can't you're not used to like things being too good right so you kind of tell yourself it's not worth it but I'm done here now, Aquarius. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this weekly reading for you. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below, darling. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading and you like to book a personal reading with me, Aquarius, uh, my website is simplyvelka.com. I have it linked down below along with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything is just Simply Velka. But until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much. I know you got this. Take that leap of faith, honey.